Councilwoman Chelsea Clark out of Forest Park. And I, <laughs> thank you. And I am running for Ohio Secretary of State. Yeah. So um, in the history of Ohio, in over 200 years, we've never had a black uh, female Secretary of State. Uh, nor have we ever had a black Democrat uh, Secretary of State. So regardless of party, um, as he already mentioned, the Secretary of State's job is to be the chief elections officer for the entire state. Um, not only are they the chief elections officer, but they're also the entity that handles business registration and filing for the whole state. Yep. So a lot of things go through that office. Um, if you notice what we're seeing in redistricting right now, we are, it's an act, it's actually constitutional chaos what's happening. We do not know our uh, legislative districts nor our congressional districts because of a coup that is going on in the, in the, um, in Columbus and gerrymandering. So yep. if you're familiar with Stacey Abrams and what was going on in Georgia and the things that have been going on in Texas when it comes to voter suppression tactics and laws, those same things are going on here in Ohio. Mm -hmm. It's just that they're muted and they're done in little bitty, um, you know, minute ways. And when then we wake up and it's like, oh my goodness, we don't have access. So the issue we have in Ohio, we've got several, but one of the ma major issues is that we purge a lot of voters. So it's not that people going up to the polls are getting turned away. It's that with the swipe of a pen, that Secretary of State can eliminate tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of voters. And in 2019, that's exactly what happened. 400,000 voters were to be cut off of our rolls. Mm -hmm. An outside agency, an independent organization, found though that over 100,000 of those voters were completely eligible. In fact, they had just voted in the previous election. And what we are seeing is, is that those folks that are being removed from the rolls are folks that are young people in their 20, 24 to 35 predominantly, and they're Democrats to Republicans two to one. So that means all that voter outreach and all that work that we put in, it doesn't matter when you can just, just, just remove them from the rolls. And so um, Ohio is in the fight of their life. If you see what just happened at the state house, we now have a concealed carry uh, that no longer requires yeah. registration or license. Uh, we've got teachers that we are now arming um, in our public schools that they can now have guns without training and little to no training. Yes. So that's, so, that's an actual law. Like we're allowed yeah. to have. Yeah. 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 I know about that. I'm talking because I'm a teacher. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, yeah. So, so it passed. But well, the yeah. problem with that is, is that if you if you eliminate hundreds of thousands of people that these laws are going to affect. And they cannot vote. Well, so exactly. Then that, then yeah. that right, because we already have stand our ground, which is yeah. Trayvon Martin's the, the defense. Right. So that's what's happening in Ohio. It's becoming an extraordinarily dangerous place. And so we have a lot of work to do in terms of making sure that we don't follow suit with Texas, because right now Ohio's trying to become a baby Texas. Um, and so anyway, so I, I would appreciate your vote. I am the Democratic nominee. I do not have a primary, so I am on the ballot for general um, for, for the general election. And um, you can visit me at ChelseaForOhio.com. And Chelsea, you're running unopposed, is that right? I am unopposed, yes. I, yeah. I launched my campaign last year. So. No, thank you for bringing that point up. I was just going to say the same thing. So that is very, very important. Mm -hmm. That is very, very important. It's critical when you think of elections and when you think of primaries and the process just to get on the ballot. Mm -hmm. All right? And so that means that the vote, your vote counts that yes. much more. Mm -hmm. It counts yes. that much more. It's crunch time.